G'day, Steve Morgan, Fishing Monthly Magazine's cracking morning off Redcliffe in southeast Queensland. Got Jason Comino with me from Northside Marine, and they are the local Surtees dealer. Jason, tell us a little bit about Surtees boats. They're a great looking New Zealand built alley boat, but that's about all I know about them. Yeah, definitely, Steve. No, they, they've uh, been around for 30 years. They just celebrated their 30th anniversary. Uh, so been building boats for a long time. They've modified the design a little bit over the years, so it has changed slightly. The hull still remains the same. Fantastic ride, really good centre, really good low centre of gravity, so really good stability at rest. Um, and, you know, the biggest thing, I guess, with the Surtees range is they, go, they, they have a 10-year international hull warranty attached to them. So um, really worry-free buying when you purchase a Surtees. Now, tell us about the, the technology in this hull, though. It's not a standard aluminium tinny. There is more to it than that, which makes it ride well. Explain that to us. Yeah, definitely. So it's what's called a ballast boat. So basically what it is, it has a flooding keel. So the water floods right through the keel line. There's a breather up in the base of the uh, anchor well, and that basically means the water can fill and escape really quickly without any airlocks. And what that does at rest, it basically fills, lowers the centre of gravity of the boat, which does give you that stability at rest. But the real big advantage is that you can lock the water into that that keel line with the flap the ballast flap and basically run the boat like it's a heavy glass boat if the weather gets really nasty and that is a big advantage especially uh, it could be like today calm morning you get that northerly sea breeze in the afternoon always gets a little bit nasty and and I suppose that's one of the advantages that fiberglass boats that have is that mass isn't it but you can add mass to this and make it ride like glass yeah definitely can um, we got a lot of guys actually coming out of glass boats purchasing surtees just for that very reason so if it's rough they can basically make it a much heavier boat or if it's good you just leave the ballast flap open and just run it like a normal normal plate alloy boat now tell us about the configuration of this boat here um, this is a cabin cabin boat. Um, obviously this would be a popular boat in its home country of New Zealand but uh, talk about the local apl applications for that cabin boat and what it can do. Yeah definitely. So really popular is the hardtop range which is what this one is. Um, the, this is an enclosed cab rather than an open cab. They do both. They do an open cab and an enclosed um, and they do offer really good ventilation options if you do decide to go the enclosed cab. So this comes in handy for overnighting say over at Morton Island or Stratty. Um, so fantastic for that, really big berth up the front, so really good for families. Um, and it does offer a quite a bit of fishing space at the back of the boat as well. So, so very popular with those sorts of features. And I suppose that would be the worry for a Queenslander would be uh, make the ventilation, get the air through the thing. But I notice there's big windows on the side there and uh, you've got the boxes ticked there. Yeah, definitely. So we've also put roof hatches in this one. So that's really, really popular. You can actually flip the roof hatches up and have air coming straight yep. down on the passenger and the driver. Yep. Um, but the other option is you can actually have the rear windows in the bulkhead. So they will drop down. Yep. So that's another option you can get so you can have full ventilation side windows roof vents and also the rear bulkhead windows now at first glance there's a, a lot of uh, lot, a lot of level of comfort I suppose in this boat you've got the rubber decking the welding's beautiful in them They've, they look like a very well constructed boat Oh, fantastic. Look, a lot of a lot of our clients actually comment that the, the welding and the worksmanship is just a work of art. Yep. So um, the big thing with these boats is that there's only one welder that welds the whole boat from start to finish. So they're not a production line boat. Yep. And then that particular welder that welds it actually welds his initials into the transom panel. Nice. So it's really, yep. that's that's a good way they maintain the, the, I guess, the quality right the way through the build. Let's talk about the power plant on the back. It's got that 250 Yamaha DES, which stands for Digital Electric Steering. Uh, you're, I suppose you're seeing more and more of these uh, integrated steering motors come into the marketplace now. Yeah, definitely, Steve. Um, very, very popular engine. So this is the um, the F250 XSB. Um, it is a really popular engine with full electric steer, so full electric helm. Um, and that engine is compatible with the Helmaster system, which is yep. really popular these days. So going to autopilot with full joystick compatibility, um, that's just a plug and play once you go with the electric steer engine. Yeah. Um, and of course, on a twin axle trailer, tell us how the, the getting them on a trailer works. Is it a New Zealand trailer or an Aussie trailer? Uh, Aussie trailer, so all built by Redco over at Rockley. Um, so basically the containers come into the country, um, they, they go to Redco, they take the boats out of the container straight onto the trailer, adjust it and then drop the boat to us for uh, installation of the engine and the electronic package. Now importing boats can be a bit of a minefield, um, people have tried to do it either bringing second hand or new boats in, there is a lot of legislation and paperwork and 
and departments you have to go through to do it. You do it all for the customer, though, don't you? You take the risk away. Yes, correct. That's right. So we basically take care of all the warranty side of things. Not that we see warranties with Certees. They're built so strong, which yep. is really good. Um, but if there ever was an issue, we take care of it at Northside Marine for the client. Now, you're towing this behind the uh, Northside Marine Cruiser. What do you need to actually tow this boat? Would you tow it between, behind a twin cab ute? Yeah, you'd need a three and a half tonne tow capacity. So your, your bigger, your bigger yep. utes with these or a Land Cruiser type yep. vehicle. No worries. So no, no requirements for the big F-250 or Dodge Ram or anything like that? No, definitely nothing like that for this particular one. And and the, the beauty is because it's alloy, it's obviously a lot lighter than the same size fiberglass boat. There you go. So, uh, Jase, you're the, you're the Surtees man there. What are we going to get at best economy in this thing? Uh, mate, I, I don't recall off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in that sort of 1.5 to 1.6 k's per litre, yep. I would say, with this engine. Um, but it has been a while since I've run in one. There you go. So uh, we're going to test him on that. We're going to take this rig out on the water and come back to you with some of the performance statistics. So there you go, that's what the Surti 700 Game Fisher looks like out of the water on a really calm morning on Moreton Bay. Of course, not the ideal way to test the rough water capabilities of this boat, but we could knock out some of the performance stats and uh, just get a feel for what I think is a very well-appointed aluminium boat. On the uh, the scale of, you know, bare tinny to well-appointed, this is up there. It's, um, it's, it's plush on the inside and it's a really good balance between practical fishing space and a boat that the family will want to go out in and that's an important decision maker for a lot of families nowadays. Um, I also love the clever storage in this boat. This is the first boat I've been in which has had those gunnel uh, storage boxes there um, to keep all of the tackle that you're going to want to keep ready to hand. You know, Rather than bend down under the side pocket which is also pretty well designed, you can just pick all your tackle out of there, keeps everything you need right there where you need it. Um, even at the back where you'd expect the batteries to be, um, there is some storage space around there, the, the back bait board, you can keep rods all over the joint um, and getting in and out of this boat is pretty cool as well it's one of the simplest boarding ladders that I've ever seen on an aluminium boat it's actually quite small but it packs away nicely gives you enough height to get up on this boat when it's on the trailer uh, and it's a really neat solution the New Zealanders do a lot of these things really really well um, out on the water driving this boat um, you do need trim tabs on these boats you could if you get the weight distribution wrong you do need the trim tabs to level it up you can feel it dropping from one side to the other when you when you're riding in it but that is easily fixed with trim tabs and of course everyone has different loading situations depending on how many people are on board what gear you've got on board so those trim tabs in this case it's a zip wake system in this boat keep it nice and level um, let's talk about the performance and we'll judge Jason a bit on what he thought the the figures were going to be and he said around 1.5 to 1.6 kilometres per litre as best economy. Well, he pretty much nailed it. Best economy in this boat, uh, 1.6 kilometres per litre at 3,700 RPM going 43 kilometres an hour. And like all boats, and this one with the big 250 Yamaha DES engine on the back, 
um, the economy gets pretty ordinary when you put the foot down. It's uh, 6,000 RPM, you go 77 kilometres an hour, but you only get 0.8 or 800 metres per litre of fuel burn. Now, if we look at the uh, the fuel tank capacity, it's 325 litres. At best economy, that's a near 500 kilometre theoretical range, which should be well enough to get you into and out of trouble anywhere on the east coast of Australia. Um, it's running a 17-inch Reliance SDS Yamaha prop for those that are that are into the uh, what blades it's spinning. Um, what I really like about this boat are the ventilation options. I look at that big cabin boat, I think great for a cold day in New Zealand, but not on a summer's day in Queensland. But the, the fact that you've got the optional uh, little hatches at the top to let air in, you've got the big sliding side windows where the opening is forward, uh, and you can keep those back doors securely opened as you're running, you get great air flow, flow through this cabin. So don't discount it as a summertime boat because you can get in the shade and have that air flowing through. Um, also love that they've designed it with a space for a big multi function display in the dash. I think gone are the days where you should be bracket mounting anything in a boat like this. You've got a couple of hundred thousand dollars plus boat, you want that thing to be flush mounted, looking neat and be able to use a big sounder. You're going to be want to, able to put a 16 inch sounder in there. The days of using a 7 inch sounder and these sort of baits are gone as well. Um, I also love the ease of launch and retrieve. You know, um, Once you've got that, uh, I think it's called the quick hitch system on these Redco trailers, this is a one person launch and retrieve at a ramp like this that has a pontoon in it. So you can buy a big boat like this. You don't have to put three of your mates in it to help you go out and go fishing. You can go and do it by yourself if you want. And that counts for you know, anything from a small tinny to a large trailer of a boat like this. If you can get it out one person, you are going to use that boat more. And I love the appointment in it. As I said before, this is a very well appointed boat uh, for a fishing boat. Uh, and if you need that balance between family boat and cockpit space, this might be something for you. Now, if you want to talk further about the uh, about this Surtees, talk to Jason and the guys at Northside Marine. Their website is www.northsidemarine.com.au. If you like Facebook, uh, go and find Northside Marine, your boating partners for life. You'll get updates about all of the new stock and all the new things that come into that store, but uh, talk to the guys. Um, Jason's the one who specialises in Surtees. He can knock you up a quote. The full price as tested for this boat is down in the description. But go see those guys, they are the Surtees experts.